Dear respected elders, brothers and sisters in Islam, welcome to YouTube channel, forgive me Allah. This video is about the best gift in the world. So I will begin by asking you, in your opinion, what is the best gift in the world? Now I know all of you will give me different answers. So for example, someone will say the best gift in the world is a house, is a car, is money. Is something made of gold, maybe a watch, something that materialistic that you really love and you really adore. Now, while all of these things are nice and we cannot deny they have some benefit and some temporary enjoyment, but we should look deeper and think what can be the best gift in the world. So then we maybe start, we'll think and say, okay, maybe it's um, the fact that I have good health. That may be the best gift in the world if I'm a healthy person. Or maybe that I'm blessed with kind parents and brothers and sisters that love me. But is there something more, something that will benefit me beyond this world? So if you contemplate and think about it, maybe you'll come up with the answer. It might be different for everyone. But I know of one gift that will benefit all of us in this world and in the hereafter and forevermore. And the gift is right before you. So as you can see, I'm sitting on a prayer mat. And dear respected elders, brothers and sisters in Islam, the best gift in the world is a prayer mat. And why? Because with this prayer mat, when you stand on this prayer mat, and you enter the presence of your Lord, and you stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is no better gift in the world than this. It's a privilege, it's an honour, and it is the best gift in the world. The fact that we are healthy enough and we are able to stand, and this prayer mat is our connection from us to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His mercy. And then, what happens on the prayer mat? We begin our prayers our salah and the prayer mat is, is, is a means of connection for us the fact that we are able to offer these beautiful prayers and we are able to do this the blessings of salah are unlimited and the prayer mat is the best gift in the world if you love someone and you care about them then give them a prayer mat because this will benefit them for many years and it will be the means for them to enter into Jannah inshallah so now we will talk about the prayer mat how, how we should love the prayer mat and why it's so important this prayer mat is the beginning of our day this prayer mat should be the end of our day and the prayer mat should be a place of peace and contemplation and connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Thinking about all the things that we are going through, thinking about all of the difficulties and the challenges and where we can go to to think about how to resolve every issue that we have, how we can feel that peace and tranquility and how, how we can feel the calmness that comes with Salah and the inner peace that we get and share that with others and tell people how important it is to continue that connection and on a daily basis to refresh our iman and to become closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We sit here, I sit here right now, you're watching this video, I'm on a prayer mat. Never have I felt more comfortable, never have I felt more at ease than this moment. Just sitting here talking about the salah, talking about the fact that we are entering the presence of our Lord. We can ask him, if we have anything to ask, we can ask, we can we can gain that understanding that we are in the best place right now. And imagine we consider the value of everything. What is the value of a prayer mat? You may go to a shop and, and get it for like £5, £10, £15. But this prayer mat is worth all of this earth and all the riches in it. And is worth more than that. One, one little bit of this prayer mat. It's worth more than everything in the world. The place where you do your sajda, 
one part of this fabric is so important because it's all of these small small little micro pieces here little micro fibers if you see them together they complete the prayer mat and essentially our duas are similar to this we have so many duas to make and then once we complete our duas together they become a complete dua and Allah SWT is listening and we have to take advantage of the salah while we have good health of all of the things that happen around us take time out make good prayer make excellent wudu ask Allah subhanahu wa for what it is that you need time is the most precious thing that we have and each day it is going away from us just because we cannot see it it doesn't mean that it's not happening we need to contemplate and understand that we are here for a great purpose we are here to benefit one another we are here to help people that are less fortunate than us the sick the vulnerable those that are in difficulty those that are suffering is our job to help them try to give something to someone else try to do something for someone else it should not always be about me 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 it should be about helping others even if you do that openly or if you do it secretly it's better for you to try to benefit somebody else this is a great opportunity for us to understand that Ramadan is a blessing that comes upon us once a year but we can make every day a special day for us we just have to do something good everyone can make mistakes we can make mistakes I can make mistakes everyone can make mistakes but how to rectify that mistake is by doing good so that can be a good for someone else or good for yourself removing something harmful from the road can be considered sadaka sadaka is just not giving money but we should try to do more if you can give some money away in Allah's path if you can help your elderly neighbor do their shopping for them if you can do something for someone do a favor without expecting something back if you do good then good will come back for you if you do something that's negative negativity will come back for you this is the key principle of understanding respect and care for one another love your elders and respect them and be nice to your neighbors these are all characteristics of a good person it's simple but yet so difficult take away the anger and bring positivity respect one another do not be abusive or aggressive do not be do not use profanity and do, to try to cleanse your tongue with the, with the goodness pray your salah encourage other pe people to pray their salah and to be honest and always speak the truth this prayer mat is the beginning of our journey and this prayer mat is a means for us to correct the things that we do wrong on a daily basis the prayer mat is a place of cleansing the prayer mat is a place of gaining understanding of what is good and what is what is considered to be offensive and considered to be bad the bad habits we want to leave behind the good habits we want to continue the prayer mat is our washing machine cleansing our sins we need to understand and look at the prayer mat with love and we need to stand on the prayer mat in complete wudu and in a state of inner peace and we need to begin to love the prayer mat because this is going to be the, the means for us to become better people and to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's difficult to know where to begin but small steps is where you start if you're doing something that you shouldn't sit down on the prayer mat and think about how you can stop doing it and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will find a means and a way for you to slowly stop that if you want to become a better person you need to sit down on the prayer mat and contemplate what things you are doing wrong and what you can do better what can you do to change yourself we all want to be better people because there's nothing that will benefit you more than helping somebody else so the message is simple no need to be selfish anymore and it's time to take care of others and show love and understanding towards someone else's situation who is less fortunate and who is in a difficult situation it is our duty to care for everybody it's our responsibility to take care of as many people as we can within our means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to understand what has been said and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to act upon what has been said may Allah make it easy for us